Since D.C. made bus cuts last year, some folks have struggled to find alternate ways to get to where they need to go. With schools back in session, it's now the parents that are the ones stressing. Russ Smith, whose son attends DCSS, has received several phone calls saying he couldn't get on his bus. It's kind of a crapshoot. Um, I've got several phone calls. He goes to the bus stop in the morning and uh, I get the phone call to come pick him up. I've driven some other kids several times that, uh, you know, that he knows from the, from the same stops or the area. Russ assumes it's because of COVID-19, but with winter coming up, he's definitely worried. Yeah, things are only going to get worse as it gets colder. Blair Lextrom, the CAO here in Dawson Creek, said they are working with BC Transit in order to come up with a solution. I don't think the issue would be what it is today if BC Transit was allowing the buses to use full capacity. The challenge is they're not. They're running about two-thirds full, uh, which is creating the problem we see today. Lexstrom says another issue they're hearing from parents are kids who take an earlier bus having to wait outside until class starts. And we're just working with the school district to ensure that if a student catches an earlier BC Transit bus and gets to school, particularly as you said in the winter, you don't want them standing outside waiting for the doors to open. Lexstrom says hopefully schools will allow transit users access to the school as soon as the bus arrives, especially as temperatures begin to drop. Hannah Lapine, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.